Pope Francis strongly reaffirmed his calls for peace. During the first general audience after his summer vacation, he invited the world to take part in a day of fasting and prayer for peace, including a prayer vigil which he will lead at St. Peter's Square on Saturday, September 7th. Sabato prossimo vivremo insieme una speciale giornata di digiuno e di preghiera per la pace in Siria, in Medio Oriente e nel mondo intero, anche per la pace nei nostri cuori. Perché la pace incomincia nel cuore. Di nuovo l'invito a tutta la Chiesa a vivere intensamente questo giorno e sin d'ora esprimo riconoscenza agli altri fratelli cristiani, ai fratelli delle altre religioni e agli uomini e donne di buona volontà che vorranno unirsi nei luoghi e nei modi loro propri a questo momento. The Pope also had a special reminder for youth and he thanked them for adding to his experience during World Youth Day in Brazil. Sin él no podemos hacer nada. Con él cualquier joven puede ser una esperanza para Dios y para los demás. Los jóvenes sientan esta pregunta en su corazón. ¿Quieren transformarse en esperanza? ¿Quieren ser esa esperanza? ¿Se atreven a transformar el mundo? hacerlo más justo y más hermoso. La Jornada Mundial de la Juventud nos recuerda la gran noticia de la historia, que somos amados por Dios y Jesús ha venido a salvarnos. Before the general audience, the Pope once again reached out to pilgrims at St. Peter's Square. He took a large ride on board his Pope mobile throughout the crowd, greeting dozens of children and the sick. About 50,000 people showed up to see him. In the 14 general audiences Pope Francis has celebrated so far, the Vatican has issued nearly 825,000 admission tickets, but that number doesn't include tourists that gathered at the square without a ticket. According to the Vatican, the attendance for Pope Francis' audiences are three times larger than the initial statistics for John Paul II and Benedict XVI.